down the 101 into Camarillo. Look at that view. Isn't that beautiful? There's the ocean over there in the back if you can see it. Pretty steep hills. Whoa, see that idiot? I got him on film too. Wow, he almost crashed. Anyway, I just wanted to bring this spot that I go up to either Santa Barbara or Halama Beach for the day. Not working today. I uh, got the time and I got the money, so I thought I'd take a ride out out here and uh, share it with the viewers. I know my viewers haven't been watching me. I'm sorry about not being able to post that many videos. Um, I'm going to try to get to it when I get back to Phoenix, get all these videos that I took and put them together. Um, I'll slap this one in just to give you guys a message if you ever check. All right, coming into Camarillo. Um, usually we go up the Pacific Coast Highway because it's nicer up the ocean and all, but I thought it'd be a little faster this way because I don't have Nicole with me. So I thought maybe it'd be better just to go the fast way so I can get back sooner. Um, I've been wanting to come up here for the longest time. I'm not in Arizona. I'm in California. I thought now is the time to do it. So I jumped in the truck and decided to just take a ride on out. So here we go. And we're almost to the bottom of this crazy hill. It's really nice coming down without the camper on, and it's really nice coming down without being in an 18-wheeler, just cruising, not even on the brakes. I love it. <laughs> and now we're cruising around this corner here. We're going to be right into Camarillo, and uh, I'll get you guys back when we're going up by the ocean, get you some ocean views. All right, love you guys. Uh, I keep saying that when I'm... Oh, anyway, hello, everybody. There's the ocean. Look at there. Going up the 101, California, Santa Catalina Island. Wait, that's not Catalina. That's Santa Barbara Island or something. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the views of the ocean. Maybe we'll stop, get out, check it, check it out. And oh, look at the waves over there. That is awesome. Check it out. All right. It's like they're working on the road over here. Getting that up there, right here by Carpinteria, California. Here we are, coming up to Carpinteria, which is right before Santa Barbara. We're cruising, see the oil wells out there, like the beautiful ocean views. Thought I'd bring them right here home to your home, lovely living room. All right. Oh yeah, beautiful. Now, oh man, now that we're stopped, even looks better. Look at that. That's an oil well out there. Looks like some like treasure island and shit. That's an oil well. We got all. Got to get to keep our cars running. Yeah, that's awesome. Sweet, sweet. I miss it out here. And this is why. <laughs> Somebody probably crashed with a lane ending or something. Yeah, there's a lane ending, so. We're stuck in traffic, but hey, it's part of being in LA, right? Oh wait, we're not in LA anymore. We're in Ventura County. Yeah, so it's just that's where we're at. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, getting these views for YouTube. Bring it on home, bring it on home. <laughs> I got nothing to say, so I'm just talking smack. <laughs> uh, it looks like we're moving a little bit. All right, well, I'm going to get back to my driving, and we're going to cruise. Santa Barbara, which is actually Goleta. I used to live a bed mattress here when I drove for, uh, for um, Costa Cana Benning. Now I just need to find my way back to the freeway so we can get up to Halama Beach. 
beautiful day out here in California. Temperature's about 71. Uh, we're here by the ocean. Everything's cool. And I uh, just wanted to bring this by you. Now if I can find the on-ramp, we'll be good to go. I saw the sign on the freeway, and I think it's that stuff there, that next street up there. Let's see what happens here. All right. All right, check this out. Just past Santa Barbara, out of Goleta, stopped to get some gas, some smokes, and to go to the bathroom. The guy didn't want to let me use the restroom either, but he goes, man, you got to go pee or number one or number two. I'm like, no, oh, number one, dude. I ain't got to stick out your store. So he let me, let me chill. So, yeah, I got to go to the restroom. Look at how green and beautiful it is out here. California's finally getting its water. I'm going to dump this shit here. Uh, I don't know what the speed limit is here. Look at that cop up. Look at it. Like the CHP. See, they don't hide over here. They take pride in going by the book. See that? They take pride in going by the book. So I'm going to keep you all low. I'm going to cruise. See if he doesn't pull me over. Oh, he's over there looking for speeders. I'm not a speeder, man. I'm a cruiser. I mean, I'm in my car. I think we're allowed to go 65 through here. I'm going 60. You know what? You know, why deal with that stuff? I don't want to be paying fines and all that. I want to enjoy my time off, man my trip to California and all that stuff so you know I don't know it's just I think it's cool that I'm a law-abiding citizen <laughs> back in the day when we used to live in Montebello when I was growing up we used to tow the, the, take the camper and the boat up here in the summertime up to Lake San Antonio uh, it's about halfway to San Francisco and I don't think I am going to be going that far. We're only going to Halama Beach. I've been dying to go this since I heard about it. And uh, if things go good, I'll make reservations for Halama Beach for three nights. And that will be taking place in July. So we're making reservations today, hopefully, so we can come here in July, because I think that's about when it's going to be sold out in a few days. Uh, a lot of people like to go camping and stuff like that. So, yep. And we got uh, some activity on the right, so we're going to get over. These Caltrans guys don't get killed. A lot of uh, police activity on this highway. And you know what? It, it usually is this time. You know, it's like cops are everywhere over here all the time. But it's good because you get some crazy drivers out here. See that? Oh, yeah. A lot of CHPs. I probably saw the camera like, that guy's got a camera. Oh, we better go pull him over. Stuff. So, I don't know. It's a stiff fine. Ah, they're just out talking, rag chewing. Beautiful, beautiful out here. Yeah, we're cruising. It's so green. Usually it's not green like this, but all the rain that we've been getting over here, it's been, uh, yeah, it's been pretty green, pretty nice. The sun's coming out. We got Santa Ana's coming in this weekend. I think today's February 4th. Middle of February, it's going to get up to 85 degrees on the weekend. Can't go wrong with that. Love it. Just gotta love it. So, yeah, it's all good. We're all cruising. I don't like coming up through this road in the, in the big rig. There's no truck stops. The only one I know about that's half decent is the one where they filmed Smokey and the Bandit when he left Sally Fields to take the bus back home. And that's over there in Santa Maria. And uh, that's the only one. And once you run here a while, you get to know the area and truckers start to get to know each other because they mainly run the same route. And it's pretty cool, but uh, I don't do that. I don't run this route too much in the big rig. Usually if I do, I come in from I-5 down into Salinas to get produce low to take back east. And I used to do that. Anyway, <clears throat> and we're coming up to the uh, rest area pretty soon. Got to get around this, uh, this uh, turn up here. So I'll bring it back to you guys when we get towards uh, Halama Beach. All right. Gorgeous out here. Well, we're about to turn in to the hills and leave the ocean for a while. We're going to have to cut across. I was going to take that highway that goes up the coast over there, but I don't know which way it goes. It looks confusing on the map. So we're just going to go uh, into the inland part by the rest area up the 101 and get off on uh, on uh, Lompoc exit. And um, there's a cut off to Halama Beach on the way in. Beautiful view. So I'm going to save that this uh, memory for over there and uh, we'll just take it from there bud all right guys we're coming away from the ocean now this is the part I remember I remember one time me and I had all my friends in there and <laughs> we stopped here with a motorhome in the middle of the night on our way to Lake Nacimiento to go camping 
we stopped here at the rest area to go to the bathroom and uh, it ended up to be oh boy it ended up uh, <laughs> ended up leaving with just Nicole in the motor room everybody was in the bathroom I never knew they got out <laughs> she's like Bubba she didn't even let me she didn't tell me anything till I was already speeding up to get back onto the freeway and I look at the mirror and she goes, Bubba, what are you doing? Everybody's in the bathroom and I look at the mirror and everybody's running after the motorhome. <laughs> oh, look at that Lance. That is sexy. The Lance here. Oh, I love this little rest area right here. It's always full. Only two trucks fit. That's beautiful. And we get to go under a tunnel. Yay! We're going under the tunnel. Oh, I just blinded the camera. And we're about to get to our exit here. We're coming up the hill. This looks pretty dry here, like no rain got here. It's, still looks dry. Highway 1, the Pacific Coast Highway, Vandenberg Air Force Base. Oh, I didn't know that was here. Truck route, exit 132, Lompoc. This is our exit. So we're gonna chill through here, cruising it through. We're almost to Halama. I'm so excited. Oh, I love my truck. My truck's the big camper truck and shit. <laughs> I wish I had my camper. I wouldn't leave. I'd stay there tonight. Oh, I should have brought the camper. Oh my goodness. I should have put that sucker on my big boy. He would have handled it. Oh, such a beautiful highway. I love the US El Camino Real US 101. Oh, it's half my last name, Real. That's right. I'm royal, baby. Real y Vasquez. All right. Auto tour route. Yeah, well, uh, we don't got horses and guns, so we ain't going that way. That's the old trail. The old trail that used to be the Trail 101 when we made it into Highway, before we made it into Highway 101. Let's see, 101, San Luis Obispo, San Francisco. Another way, another one I gotta take you to, got, take you to, bleh, take to you guys, you guys, whatever. I can't even talk. All right, we're here. Uh, in, highway 1 is where we can keep it on the ocean. We're gonna go to Halama Beach. I would wanna go through Lompoc. We're not going as far as Lompoc. We're gonna go up to the cutoff, turn left down and shoot down to uh, uh, Halama. It's actually, they spell it Jalama, and California's probably say Jalama, just like that pass over on Interstate 10 where it's Shiraco Summit or Shiriaco. It's Shiriaco, but everybody calls it Shiraco. All right, I'm gonna cut it off and get you some good views. Save the memory. All right, everybody, check out the views. We're no longer on the 101. We're on uh, Pacific Coast Highway, and it's going back towards the ocean. Those beautiful hills, huh? I love California, man. Central Cal is so nice. And I was only gonna go have lunch at uh, Santa Barbara. I thought, oh, maybe I'll go get a burger over at the Llama Beach. And uh, <clears throat> if the restaurant's even open this time of year, I don't know how crowded it gets. I'm sure there's people camping there. And so they should have it open. It is in the middle of the day. Business hours are inactive right now, so we shouldn't have any problems. Some cars coming the other direction. All right. Shot a dash cam. I think there's a big prison here, and that's the prison bus. For sure as heck, no motorhome, that's for sure. Looks like somebody's driveway or something. Beautiful greenery. Look at that. Sure don't see this in Arizona, that's for sure. That uh, looks uh, work van. Probably the telephone company. Alright, we're cruising on a Pacific Coast Highway. And we are in the beautiful land of California. Enjoying my time off here. This is what I've been longing for when I was in Arizona. Wishing I could be out here and not out here in a big rig. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm gonna cut it off because I'm gonna get to some nice views. If I see something, I'll bring it on back. Halama Beach, baby. There it is. Here we go. There's some bike riders. Look at those bike riders gonna ride to Halama Beach. All right, here's the road. 
First time ever, baby. No outlet because it ends at the campground. Come on. Oh, and Nicole be like, where are you going, Bubba? This road doesn't look too cool. I'm like, yo, come on, let's go. And there's little hay bales for the horses or cows or whatever. And there's a bike rider. Got to watch out for these bike riders. My windshield's dirty. Please um, excuse my windshield because I haven't cleaned. This is like Turnbull Canyon, Hoss. Coming out here on the Geppa. I wonder motorcycle riders like to come out here. There's some more bike riders right there coming up. Cruising through. Loving it. And they're look at that view, baby. Beautiful drive to Halama Beach, everybody. It's just gorgeous. First time, I mean, I've seen it on YouTube. I'm like, oh, I want to be there. Now I'm getting here. 14 miles, baby. 14 miles to Halama. And away we go. Down through the green. Down through the green, baby. About 2.30, so it's about two hours, three hours. Oh, my goodness. Three-hour drive. We had to stop, though, but still, that was only like 15 minutes, so... But we will be stopping with the kids and everybody, so. I just wanted to take my little, oh, look at all the moo cows, all the moo cows. Yay. There's moo cows, bike riders. Uh, so we're cruising 50 miles an hour through here, just take it easy. You know, and uh, we see the bike, oh, he's passing them, look at him. Those two guys are getting punk. Big Daddy's passing them with his long legs. Oh, I dropped something, gotta go back and get it. What's that? They're all looking back like somebody dropped something. We gotta go back and get it. There they go, coming back to get it. Don't wanna lose any materials. Stuff's expensive at Big Five Sporty Goods. Man, look at all those cows. Look how beautiful it is. Because I got my phone in my hand. <clears throat> oh, yeah, a lot of farming equipment. Gotta make that money. Come on. Look, they even wanna be in Arizona because look at the cactus they're growing there. That's crazy. And we're cruising through, gonna go get a burger at Halama Beach. Nice custom home built right there. Actually, you know, that's not a home, that's a trailer. Not the trailer, the house is a trailer. Yeah, they bring it in on a truck, bring it in through the highway. All the way from Tucson, Arizona. Yep, all right, we're cruising through. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring it back. It's pretty narrow here, but I think we can manage it. If I could get through here with the truck, I'd get through here with the camper. A lot of trailers come through here and everything, but this is a beautiful drive, man. Oh, this is the shit. This is nice. So I want to go off the cliff. <laughs> we want to go off the cliff here, guys. Just going to chill, cruise. And I'm listening to my music. I'm just kind of crazy. All right, here we go. What could I make? Oh. Just kidding, guys. We're in California. We're in California. Oh, look at this beautiful drive. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. This is what I want to bring you guys, you see. Just, oh, I just love the history of it over here. I don't know the history, like Pio Pico and shit. <laughs> this was all Mexico. Can you believe that, man? We're just chilling down the mountain, coming down the hill. Keep it to the right. I don't want to run into nobody. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Beautiful drive. Just love it. I deserve this. <clears throat> we are definitely coming camping here. Definitely. All right, guys. Almost there. Look at this beautiful scenery. I just love the green. My camera's like, whoa, green. I never seen that before. Camera's like, I'm used to that old desert brown ugly color and stuff and it's like gee all right we're cruising through we're almost to the ocean look at this beautiful ro i mean i'm just amazed by how just oh god I, you know when i was young i didn't care oh look at those hills i could tear those up on the dirt bike yeah make jumps and shit now it's like i'm old man river and this is beautiful scenery to see and i love it where are the cows where are the cows I don't see any cows. There's a bird up there. Check it out. See the bird? No, you can see the bird and shit. Oh, look at this beautiful scenery. I am just loving it. I'm going to watch it over and over again when I put it on my computer. I'll be like, oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, this is nice. Beautiful out here. It's just amazing. Look. All right, look at that ocean. Halama Beach. Here we are. Oh, what? That's, oh my, 
Sorry about that. That's just amazing. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Just like on TV. Except for those train tracks that'll probably wake you up when you're camping all night. Look at that view. All right, guys. We're out of the hills. They're the hills that we were in. We kind of can't really can't see them that much. And look at the size of those waves, boy. We got a storm off the coast or something. Look at there. There's a the campground. Oh, look at there. And here we are, Kalama Beach. So I'm gonna take this road on down until it crosses the crags, get down. Look at those waves. Oh, what? That's just amazing. Oh, wow. I'm stoked. I love this. Nobody's surfing out there. They must have the, the surf flag out. Stuff. Yeah. Hey guys. Wow, they're like, what's that truck doing here? All right, let's check it out. See how it works out. And we're out there, whoa, speed bump, boom. Trying to slow this big puppy down. All right, $10 entry fee, dog fee. Well, we don't got Packers, so. Hi, how you doing? All right. All right. Halama Beach Campground. I'm gonna go get a Halama Beach burger. They gave me a one hour free admission so I could eat my burger. This place is amazing. So an hour is plenty of time to check out the campground. I think the store's over there. I'm on the wrong area. But um, to check out the campground, and it's gonna be warm here. This weekend would have been a nice weekend to come out here. It's not even cold over here. It's not windy, it's beautiful. Oh, there's a store, so I gotta find out how to get over there. I think we could go this way, and maybe that'll get us around to the uh, store. But look at those campgrounds. We could have both our trailer and the camper right there. We need hookups, but I think all the hookups are up there. And they get this nice campground, so this would be so wait. Should have got a restroom over there. RVs only. Well, I guess I could park. Ugh. Let's park right here. All right. Ooh. All right. We're here. Burger time. All right. All right. Today the campground isn't that full because it's during the week, but. It's gonna get pretty big. Oh god, that surf is dangerously huge. Let's check it out, get a little sand in my shoes before I eat my burger. I don't even know where I'm gonna eat it. I ain't camping here. Oh, they got a little plate thing for the kids. They got camping up there with views. Seems like the farther from over that area you wanna be, the better because of the train. The train goes through there, wakes God only knows what time. Oh, I wish I could be here for the sunset. I should have just paid the 10 bucks, but... It looks like they clean it. In memory of John Robert Reeves, loving husband, father, and friend. Oh, well, I'm going to sit on here in memory of him and... Oh, just chill. Look at this ocean. Look at the size of those waves. Ah, no one could go swimming in that right now. I wonder why the waves are so big. There was a warning out in LA too. I heard a sound on the news this morning. It's pretty crazy. Palama Beach, California. Wish I had that little four blade thing that flies. I could take a good picture of it. This is amazing. The drive out here, being out here. The people seem to be really cool. We're here still at Halama Beach waiting for my burger to be cooked. They got horseshoes game. They got horseshoes. They got campgrounds. They got swing, or not swings, but play thing for kids. Got the ocean. Got a bird. Got all kinds of good stuff. I'm excited. Look at that old bridge up there. So anyway, okay, I gotta save my memory.
right, cruising through. All right, it's beautiful. This is the campgrounds down here. These would be the cool campgrounds to get, but they don't have hookups down here. I don't know, maybe I could just, I could um, dwell it. But the hookups are all up there, and I'd rather be close to the beach for the kids. Look at that big trailer, boy, that sucker's sexy. Oh, and they got a van, see, everybody comes, you know, look at that old motorhome over there, everybody comes with what they got, and it's just amazing. Lifestyle, that'd be something nice to have with rear living, oh yeah. Dual slide outs, right? You got a single. Yeah, that's the dual, that's all one, the whole thing slides out. And they're good restrooms, and... Very friendly people here. I had a blast with the people I ate with. I didn't even know them. They're like, how long are you going to stay for? You come by our camp and chill. But I'm like, I got to get back to, I don't have the camper on. I couldn't do it. Hi. Was it good? Oh, God. The onion rings were like onion amazing. Rings. Yeah, I definitely will be back before we come back in August. That's for sure. Okay. Take okay. care. And that's Halama Beach. And we'll get some views off the 101. We'll pull over and check it out. There's some campgrounds down in here, too. These are kind of cool. They're kind of like secluded, though. But I'll be down for that. Beautiful. Oh, man. That's just gorgeous. Look at those waves. are huge. Yeah, they were cool. That was fucking cool. So I'm just like amazed right now. I'm like in heaven. I finally got to see Halama Beach. This is gonna be my new pit stop. Maybe I can sell the res the, the what do you call it? Get a trailer. But I like my little camper, and through a road like this, it's best to have the camper. Those big RVs, those old folks, probably all. Um, oh dear, that's kind of that's kind of rough there. You know what I mean? I don't want to get hit by a train. And then this is the road. I think that goes to the 101. But we're gonna know that's locked up, so we gotta go. There's no other way in but this way. This is the only way in. All right, guys, we're gonna come around and get some views. Check this out. What? Look at the views. Beautiful Pacific Ocean, land where I grew up. And um, they were all from, one was from Huntington Beach, the other one was from uh, Long Beach. And then, of course, I'm staying in Lakewood, so it was great. Oh, look at that view. Oh, I don't want to get the wind. Going back is always the way to get the good views for some reason. It's just amazing. Million dollar view there, guys. You get an RV, go camping here, you go. You get to chill on million dollar property. Look at that big motorhome coming in. Oh dear, we need two lanes for this one. So we're okay. Knock on my day, yo. I got had it. He looked pretty smart. So anyway, we're cruising through and we'll get back at you later. Okay, I, this is later. <laughs> it's still the same video because I pushed pause. Oh, that is just the beautiful view. I can't stop looking at it. I just can't. It's just awesome. Oh, what a night. I, I don't know. It's just amazing. I'm so, like, amazed. I am so amazed at Hilama Beach. And there's camping available right now. But right now, out of all days, I wish today would be the day the capper was on the back of Cole's gonna love this place. This is the best idea Cassie had right here. So thank you, Cassie. All hey, right, buddy. Guys. All right, we're coming down Highway 1, chilling. And we're gonna be um, getting ready to get onto the 101 South back into the Hell Hole. And uh, we're gonna take our time going back so we can miss the traffic. Um, I think it's about 4.30 right now. I want to get back, oh, probably about mm, eight or nine, so we won't hit LA traffic as bad. Um, it's only Wednesday, or Thursday, so tomorrow would be the day we don't want to deal with. So. Look at that 101 San Francisco. I wish, I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish I was going to San Francisco. Wow, it's amazing. One on one sound. Oh, well, my wish almost came true. <laughs> we gotta go this way, Santa Barbara, LA. It's like two different cities, two different worlds. It's just amazing. Amazing. And she.
and Highway 1. Welcome to the 101, folks. All right, on the big road, come on. Oh, yeah. We're going down a major hill. That's why the truckers got to go 45. See that speed limit truck, 45. That's... This guy's going 50. Oh, we're good. I'll just chill. I'm not a big rig, so I can cruise. Los Angeles, 132 miles. It's 150 miles in there then. Yep. 45 truck speed. We're going down the hill. Come on. 55 miles an hour for everybody. I'm going 60. That guy's going 46. Rest area, one mile. And we're cruising. Down the 101. Sounds like we're cruising down the 101. Slow down in curves, 45. This is a mean curve, a lot of people wreck on it. Like, ah, I gotta go 45. And then next thing you go, Ur! maybe I should have gone 45. You know what I mean? I mean, they post this stuff for a reason. <clears throat> At least in California, they do all the other states, they just post it for a speed trap. For Sheriff Butte Petit Justice to pull you over and give you a ticket for nothing. But I'm the law, you see. I'm the legislator too. The sheriff, the liquor store counter guy, post office attendant, and the fireman. Here we go. Coming through. There's a tunnel we went through on the way up. But they don't give us a tunnel because they try to make one in the rocks broke. So we're cruising. Now we're going to get the sun. It might blind the camera. Oh, not so bad. All right, 55. This sucker back into overdrive. All right. No services, Mariposa Arena. And as we get along this curve, you will see the ocean and I'm gonna cut her off. Make it short, gotta make them short. And there it is, beautiful views. Beautiful views, everybody. Gotta love it. Coming down 101 South, north of Santa Barbara, between the rest area and Polita. Gonna be coming by Rofio Beach and El Capitan Beach. So I'm gonna chill. Alright, guys, see you in a bit. Hi, everybody. that quick or what? Hear the power inside the tracks. Okay, there's the bridge I was on. This is the old 101 right here. Actually, it was Highway 1. Either way, it was built in 1912. And those arches they make are the support. So if you see like this, the the pillars going down onto the arch replaces the ground so the pillars could be short and the bridge could be stronger and those arches bring the bridge strength and because it's a historical monument and it's the El Camino Real Highway which whether if it was a Highway 1 or 101 at the time that used to be the highway and we walked over there but my phone went dead so I think it's just amazing architectural and they still have bridges like this up there and um, up Highway 1 the Bixby Bridge, and there's a couple of other bridges that they kept, which actually keeps you from having to make the road go into that valley up through the mountains and then back out. Keeps it straight, but I guess now that we have Caterpillar and all these big bulldozers going, they just fill it with dirt and put pipes in the bottom so it could drain out through there, and we don't need those bridges. Here on the railroad, the railroad still has it, so they're still using it. Why waste money, you know? Because they're not getting it on taxpayers' money. See here, let me get that sun out of the way. So they got the railroad and the highway, but no more highway. And I'm sure you can get the history of these bridges on, on the highway. And there's a thing over there that talks about some other stuff that ain't even about the bridge, but I'm not going down that trail. Are you kidding me? I'm too fat. But because it says no trespassing there, we're going to chill and wait for the sun to set on the ocean. We're going to find a better view. And um, they just do that for people's safety, you know. Um, it's almost there. It's still pretty strong. So we're going to chill. All right, so we're here taking a view of the ocean. Beautiful scenery. You can see the smog out off the coast. And I thought, oh, no more smog in LA. The government sure took care of it, but the government doesn't take care of anything. 
they just take care of taking your money is all they take care of but the sun's still kind of bright so we're gonna just do another one try to see what the what this guy just try, oh, right there right there I don't know what AF is there we go we're still recording I guess you can't do nothing but just to do it like that. I'm wasting a lot of tape time. Let me stop. Guys, I'm just going to keep it like it is. And that's the best I could do. I don't want it too orange. I mean. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Son of a gun. Look at that. Oh my god, I can't keep my hands steady enough. It's sinking in the ocean. Oh man, you can actually see it moving. Amazing. And all we have is a beautiful orange sky. That's beautiful. It's, isn't it? It's amazing. Oh, it's gone. It is gone.